Hey, how's it going? It's Peter from the Film Scoring Department at Berklee College of Music. And I'm going to create some drum beats using the Dr. Octorex loop player and edit them. If you don't know how to connect Reason to Pro Tools using Rewire, then look for a link to another video in the description of this that shows you exactly how to do that. And do that first. I'm assuming that you made a Pro Tools project and that you were able to make an instrument track and connect Reason via Rewire, and that Reason's also running now, and that it's working. I'm assuming you made a MIDI track also, which is not yet connected to anything, but I've named these. One of my, the MIDI track I've named Dr. Octorex, and the instrument track I've named Reason. Over here in Reason, I don't have any devices in here yet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and drag in a Dr. Octorex loop player. Using the browser, I'm going to look for a drum beat that I like to start with. And I'm going to drag that drum beat directly onto the Dr. Octorex to load it. And I can test it just by hitting the run button. Incidentally, you'll notice that the sound from Reason actually coming out over here in this instrument track in Pro Tools because I've connected it correctly using Rewire. Great. And while I'm over here, I'm going to disable loop playback because we're going to send note commands via MIDI from Pro Tools for this to work. And while I'm over here, I'm going to go to the Preferences of reason. Shortcut is command comma. And select the control services tab and just make sure that none of my keyboards, physical MIDI controllers, are connected. They would have a checkbox if they were connected. Because I want MIDI to, to come in through Pro Tools, so I don't need that. And as long as I've done all that, I can close this browser right now. Back over here in Pro Tools, I can enable an output now for this MIDI track. And you'll notice right away that the name of the, the, the patch or the beat that I dragged into the Dr. Octorex is available right here. There's another one below it that looks similar. It's actually the, the mix channel of the same thing. But let's just select this top one here. Should be able to arm that track, play notes on my MIDI keyboard and here samples playback. I'm playing a ascending chromatic scale. That gives you an idea of how these Dr. Octorex uh, uh, loops are structured. Um, each key in a chromatic scale going up is a little slice of a pattern, a little slice of the, the two measure beat. If I play quickly through those You get an idea of how that works. And what I'd like to be able to do is have those notes here in my Pro Tools track so that I can see them and so that I can edit them. And there's an easy way to do this that Reason has provided us with, so I'll click back over into Reason. I'm making sure that I have the device, the Dr. Octorex, selected, and you can see it's outlined in blue since I've clicked on it and it's selected. I'm going to the File menu and looking for Export Rex as MIDI File. Not to be confused with Export MIDI File. It's different than that. It's lower than that. Export Rex as MIDI File. Select that. A little dialog pops up asking us where to put it and what to name it. Uh, the desktop is fine for me, so I'm gonna, not going to change where and what to name it, that's a good name. I'll recognize that, it's the name of the beat. You'll notice the format of this file that it's gonna save, standard MIDI file, something that exchanges easily into Pro Tools or any DAW, really. And what's happened here is that it's saved this file 
over here on my desktop. Before you leave Reason, just check and make sure this is disabled. Enable loop playback. You don't need that anymore. And having done that, you'll also want to check over in Pro Tools, make sure your Pro Tools is in grid mode. It'll make it a little easier to drag this file in and put it right at the beginning of your sequence which is what I'm about to do right into this MIDI track not the instrument track but the MIDI track itself zoom in and you see that familiar ascending string of MIDI notes the way that uh, Reason has exported the file left a little blank space we can edit that out if we like. You take the Trimmer tool in Pro Tools. Trimmer tool, when you hover over the end of a, a region or a clip, gives you that bracket shape. You can click and drag it in. Incidentally, all these edits are really easy for me because I'm in grid mode. Grid is turned on here. And the resolution of the grid is a quarter note. So it's very easy to trim things down to measure lines and beats. You're doing that. You, of course, could just go into slip mode if you want to work more freely, like that. But for me, I'm going to keep it nice and, nice and precise. Let's listen to this. Well, that worked. Now, using the grabber tool, I can option, click, and drag on a clip to copy it. Alternatively, copying and pasting works, or Command C for copy, Command V for paste, just like in all Mac programs. I like the handy option, click and drag. It's really just the beginning. If I double click in here and get to an editing window, I have access to each individual note. And just for starters, one of the most interesting things you can do to change a beat is delete some of them. Seems like deleting notes on downbeats is very interesting. And deleting notes in between beats can change it up. And you can change the pitches that the notes are on.